All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. I hope you're able to grab a water coming back up here because, hey, we want you to stay hydrated. We don't want you to be getting thirsty during this virtual seminar. Taking away all of the equipment, taking away all the fancy gear, taking away the three pillars just for a second to talk about the next checklist, your event planner. We hear this a lot. We hear this a lot in the virtual world that it's not about the quality, although I'm going to disagree, it's not about the quality, it's about the message that you bring. It is important to have a message, but also to be able to bring the quality for the viewer experience because there's nothing more virtually professional than going into your event or going into your meeting knowing what you're talking about, knowing a little bit more about your audience and doing your research on your clientele ahead of time. So you can go in there looking like the professional that you are providing the knowledge that you need and the solution that you want to bring your audience and your clients. Doing research before meetings is going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. However, when you're in that meeting and you're starting to get a, a positive response from your audience because you know what you're talking about and you, you've done your research and you're not just pulling stuff out of your hat to try to make conversations, that is virtually professional. That's going to get you the respect from your audience and your clients that you need without having to worry about all of the technology. However, once you have that done, it is imperative that you provide your audience with that enjoyable experience. And that's what you're gonna be able to do when you invest into Micro Studio. But first, we need to get down with the actual event planner. Knowing this event planner, when I'm in sales, as a sales professional, if I'm trying to sell them a solution, I'm going to do research ahead of time, such as, have I communicated with them before? Did I have a meeting with them before? Have I ever outreached to them before? Do I know who the competitor is? Do I maybe know some sort of pain points that were arise or arose when I was talking to the gatekeeper? I'm going to be writing these things down. Do they have multiple locations, right? Do you know who the actual decision maker is? Did the person who set the appointment with you tell you that they were the decision maker, but when you actually went to the company website, you found out they were just an administrative assistant? That is what's going to make you the virtual professional. If you're, if you're a show host, if you're putting on a live stream, are you energized? Are you engaged? Do you know the audience you're about to present to? Do you know the region of the world that they're located in? These are all going to be, again, little things lead to little things lead to big things. So confirming your event planner. So what, again, doing your research, depending on the size of the clientele and depending on the size of the actual audience, I'm going to take at least a half hour to do my due diligence on my clientele because I know if I'm going into this meeting and I'm able to provide them informative answers and solutions to them right away, I'm going to get that respect and I'm going to get that acknowledgement. And on top of providing them with that premium experience that you get with Micro Studio, that is how I'm able to close sales cycles faster because I've done my due diligence. I have answers to some of the questions that I may think that they need. Doing your research prior to the event is going to make you a virtual professional. Have conversation pieces available. Please note, when we go into the background section of this virtual seminar, we're going to be talking about an isolation piece. Please do not mistake your isolation piece with conversation pieces. When you're writing down your event planner, conversation pieces are items or topics that you can bring up with your audience to have a relatable conversation with. Does your audience member or does your potential clientele, do they like cars? Are they from the same home city that you're from? Did you both go to the same university? 
Perhaps you've been in the same industry for the same amount of years. Knowing these things is going to give you an opportunity when you get into a position where it's maybe a little uncomfortable and you don't know what to talk about. This is where your conversation pieces are going to be able to come in handy. So doing this within your research to be able to provide the conversation pieces. Please do not mistake the conversation pieces with your isolation piece for your backdrop. Although they can be used as both, but do not rely on just one. And we'll get into this. I know it sounds a little bit confusing with the isolation piece, but we will get into that, I assure you. Next thing that's extremely important is just have all of your materials available. You will know in the PDF of the virtual event checklist, you're going to get a show notes section. This is where I'm going to have all of my materials ready. Do you have your pen ready? Is it filled with ink? Do you have everything written down? Do you have a glass of water? Do you have all of these things? Did you go to the bathroom before the meeting? These are all the things that you want to have all of your materials available and ready to go so you don't find yourself having to scramble for a pen or looking for a sticky note. Have them all there right then for you. Please, I encourage you, even though it says show notes, you can utilize these sections for sales meetings, for discovery calls. These are things that you're going to be able to write down for your clientele so you have stuff to take with you. I personally don't like going down the typing route because it can be noisy with the keyboards. It can be distracting when you're working in the virtual world. So I like to write things pen to paper. And then when I want to upload that into the actual software, the CRM, I just simply take a picture of the notes, upload it to my CRM, or if I'm feeling ambitious, I'll type it out or I'll have one of our team members at Micro Studio type it into the CRM for our organization. So have all of your materials ready to go. Again, please utilize your show notes, okay? You're gonna find there's multiple sections here that you're gonna have. You're gonna have your event housekeeping items. You're gonna have an event topic and segments, pre-episode notes, post-episode notes, along with special recognition. I want everybody to understand that these show notes are designed for live streamers, but you can implement this for your virtual meetings. Just replace some of the words accordingly but there are sections there where you can write down. And I have one of these printed off for every one of my clientele before. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you do have desire to get a hard copy of your virtual event checklist, please email info at and you will get a handful of pre-printed out show notes within your case. So if you do want a hard copy with this for you, I'm happy to send that to you with no issues at all. So I want you to utilize your show notes and utilize this every single meeting so you're staying organized and you have your materials ready. So of course, we're gonna head down. Let's do this. Let's head to the coach's corner quickly. We'll write this down because repetition is key as this is a learning seminar. So let's get into this. We'll switch it over right away here and then here. So when you're understanding your event planner research on your clientele who is your client we can go through the five w's right who's the client what does the client do where is the client who what when where why when when do you want to get the deal done when do you want to have the meeting who what when where why how one, two, three, four. What am I missing? Who, what, when, where, of course, why, why are we having this meeting? Okay. And of course you can get your, how, how to get these meetings, understanding your event planner, do your research, Google, ask your clientele, ask coworkers if they maybe worked with this client before, or just understanding your audience and where in the region that they're looking for. So having your event planner done, please use your show notes. Okay. Every single time and then have your materials ready. Materials ready, pen, paper, ready to go, water close by. Keeping yourself organized and confident so you're not moving back and forth all the time doing that thing. Having your materials ready, show notes ready, doing your research ahead of time is going to show you as the informative influencer and the educator in that next meeting. So, hey, 
you follow these and when you can confirm with confidence your event planner let's head on down to the green screen with confidence you already know confirming your event planner bow bow how you like me now check it off on your checklist ladies and gentlemen we're about a quarter way through this thing and as you start to do this more and more, it's going to be start. It's going to be coming more comfortable with you. You're going to. It's going to go a lot quicker, and it's not going to take so much time. But it's important when you're just starting this out to go through all of these steps clearly, with intention and with purpose. Because once you do these things ahead of time, because your body is trained, and in your head you know you're going through these checklists, you're going to be going into this meeting, no problem with the utmost confidence that you need. And especially the hardest thing virtual professionals can do is transfer energy through technology. And this is one thing that I strive for every single day is being able to have my clients feel my energy and feel my passion through technology because this is why people like face-to-face -face so much more. You can feel the facial mannerisms. You can see if they're intrigued. You can see if they're toned off a bit. You get more senses. When we talk about the sixth sense with, with sales, you have all of these senses when you're face to face. Can you do this in the virtual meeting? Can you bring that passion and that energy through the camera so your client feels that? We buy off emotion, but we justify it with logic. So ensure that you're bringing that emotion for your clientele and you have that with your event planner. Check that off with confidence. Enjoy your water. I'm sending you back downstairs for the next segment. I'm going to be getting things ready here. Hey, welcome to virtual professionalism. We're almost there. Let's get down into it.